So this one came up a lot, and this particular question is from Yosef, but will this technology ever be used for gaming? Yeah, probably. <laughs> 100%. Yeah. 100%, yeah. I, I think that a good benchmark of does it work well on humans is can a quadriplegic, does it work well enough for them to play StarCraft? Yeah. I think that's a good functional target. Yeah. So we all want to play StarCraft using Neuralink, but what are some likely first applications? Well, I don't know if we all want to play StarCraft. Um, there are other games. <laughs> there are other games to play, exactly. But also StarCraft. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so our, our first clinical trial is aimed at uh, people with paraplegia or, or tetraplegia, uh, so cervical spinal cord injury. We're going to enroll, uh, we plan to enroll a small number of patients uh, to make sure the device is safe and that it works in that case. Uh, yeah, so actually just to elaborate on that, um, if somebody is um, like a severe spinal cord injury, uh, you know, to the degree that they, they even they have um, very limited control even uh, over their facial muscles, uh, then uh, but, but with with this implant, you can actually uh, think just just by thinking, you can output um, words and you can you can type and you can control a computer, control a phone, and uh, which is pretty pretty wild. And I think something that's very exciting as a long-term application is if you, can, if you can sense what somebody's trying to do with their limbs, what they want to do with their limbs, um, then you can actually uh, uh, do a second implant that's at the base of the spine or, or wherever, just after wherever the spinal injury occurred. All right, so we just showed you a demonstration of uh, reading brain activity. And... Um, See, probably see that. Um, as I was saying, uh, each of those dots represents a neural spike, and the, um, the, the blue chart at the bottom is showing an accumulation of neural spikes in that region. So, uh, in, in, in terms of additional uh, brain reading activity, uh, when we have, um, say, um, one of our pigs on a treadmill, <laughs> pig on a treadmill. <laughs> um, it's funny, funny concept, really. Um, and we uh, take the, the readings from the neurons, and we try to predict the posi position of the joints. Um, and so we say we have the predicted position of the joints, and then we, we measure the actual position of the joints. You can see that they're almost exactly aligned. So we're able, with um, a wireless neural, imp neural implant, to actually predict the position of, of all of the limbs uh, in the pig's body uh, with, with very high accuracy.